<laughs> now, normally, OK, normally I wouldn't bring this up, but Citroen UK has appointed a new sales director, OK? And his name is Charles Peugeot. No, it isn't. <laughs> no, I have photographic proof from Citroen, Charles <laughs> Peugeot. <laughs> <laughs> What's his email address going to be? Charles.Persio at Citroen. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. Hang on, hang on. What if there are lots of people called Charles Persio working at Citroen, so he ends up being Charles... <laughs> <laughs> Charles.Persio 405. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it wasn't, it wasn't worth it. And now, the news. And we begin the news with a new Lamborghini. Here it is. And that has been named after their recently retired chief test driver, Valentino Balboni. I bet they wouldn't have called it after him if he'd been named Ken Shufflebottom. No. <laughs> Actually, their new chief test driver is called Max Venturi. No, he's not. He? No, he, he is. is. No, he is. Honestly, that is his real name. No, he's not really called Max he Venturi. Is. Nobody That's outside his... of a comic strip is called Max Venturi. He is <laughs> Lamborghini tester. <laughs> you That's don't need a driving licence to be a Lamborghini test driver. You just turn up for the interview, go, look, I'm awfully sorry, I'm drunk and I'm mad, but I'm called Velociraptor Clint Thrust. Right, so on Monday. Anyway. And that is just brilliant. It's the work, actually, of the man with the best name in the motor industry, in the second best name. man with the best name is Lamborghini's chief test driver. He's called Max Venturi. Yeah. He, he's never had sex. No, no, no. He's young and good-looking as yes, well. Yes, I know. Anyway, the guy asked him, their technical Thanks. officer, is called Max Sluzwadge. What? Max Sluzwadge. Sluzwadge. No, it's what I said. It didn't. Just, no, it's. Right. Sl- you sound like a broken dentist drill. You're just being racist. I'm not. You what? are. The man's Irish. I'm not being racist. You are. Just because you want him to be called Paddy O'Malley. I didn't say you could. He's called. <laughs> you are. He's called Max Sl- on television. Anyway, we'll gloss over your. I'm frankly... not. I'm not. That is. It's embarrassing. They've also. He, I should say, Max Sluzwag has also put the Mercedes engine in the DB11. And... Hey, hey, hey. Listen. Do you want an Audi A4, okay, that's much more expensive and harder to park? Yes, I do. Good news. <laughs> because this week, okay, we've received news that there's a new Audi A8, okay? It's designed by a man called uh, Mick Dick. Uh, and I've got, uh, I've got, no, 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 I've got the bump here, okay? Um, Is there anything interesting to tell us about it? There's a back lip to that. No. <laughs> well, what does it look like? No idea. This is the picture they sent, OK? <laughs> it's, it's under a cloth. Yes. And who's he? That's Mick Dick. Oh, that's him? Yeah. <laughs> Best friend, as it turns out, of uh, Billy Willy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, work, they work for Bob Knob, do they? <laughs> <laughs> With Roger Todger. <laughs> They were going to get it designed by the Scottish car designer, uh, Jacques Cock. <laughs> Had. You know the, um, the company we're using to do this? Mm-hmm. They're called Man Love Forensics. Are they? They oh, are. Why, no, they are. Why, did they call, why are they called that? Yeah, the boss is called John Manlove. Oh, not many fond school day memories for him, either. They've actually already discovered that your car used to belong to a Muslim man from Birmingham. Well, they can tell that just from squabbing the seats. No. We found this letter <laughs> in the footwell. Oh, yes. Addressed to oh, Jamia yeah. Masjid. It's from a mosque yeah. in Birmingham. Hey, so they're good. They are good. They're good. But the test they were doing went far beyond looking for old envelopes. But well, do you know what I'm worried about most of all that they find in my car? What? Gentleman's relish. Well, I quite like gentleman's relish. Oh, you don't? Oh, right, okay. <laughs> oh, and oh, then the stuff from no. the jar. Oh. After many hours, the boss came over with the results. All right, I'm John Manlove. Right. Can we stick to John? I'm Otherwise, we're just going to get giggles. Uh, now, you know Alistair Darling? Yes. Got a photograph of him here. Still he's looks our, like a badger, doesn't he? He does. Uh, <laughs> he's our transport minister. He has appointed a minister of road safety whose name is Ladyman. It's not. No. His <laughs> name is Ladyman, which means that our... There's a picture of him. Our transport department is now being run by Darling and Ladyman. Fantastic! <laughs> Excellent. It's true. Mind you, I've done some checking on this guy. 
Okay. Guess what he drives? Bus. No. Nope. A tandem bicycle. No. Nope. Tricycle. Horse, horse or a badger. Or no, a no, no. He drives an Alfa Romeo, or 156. Really? Hey. And until recently, he had nine points on his license. He's one of us. Welcome on board, Mr. Ladyman. Pop down any time you like, being Mr. <laughs> Darling with you. Yeah. I'm going to move on. Uh, now, there's a new supercar. It's called the uh, Icona Volcano. Here it is. Look. Jeremy, did wow. you do that publicity photo? <laughs> That's what I call a publicity oh, shot. I love that very much. Not sure about the car, though. Uh, they say it has a V12 hybrid, um, but they won't tell us where the V12's from or how the hybrid system works. All they will say is it develops 950 horsepower and will go 217 miles an hour. Does it? Mm. <laughs> um, no, the reason I brought this car up is their chief design director. His name is Samuel Chuffart. Give over. <laughs> it's not... His name is I not Chuffart. I promise Chuff you... It's not... Chuffart. Lovely. There's a man with fond memories of his school days. <laughs> <laughs> Every register... Oh, no, it's got to Christian. I'm next. Chuffart. <laughs> I bet the novelty never wore off for him. No, he, apparently he, uh, he worked at Jaguar for a while. Not sure what happened there. I think they probably had to let him go. <laughs> 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 so now he's ended up in Italy, because that is an Italian firm. They're actually making the, the car in China. Can you imagine what the wiring's going to be like? <laughs> Chef fart in Italian probably means hat penis anyway. Or something like that. <laughs> we actually asked our researchers to call up this company and say, yeah, can you tell us more about the car? And not one of them could get through the beginning bit of the phone call without bursting. <laughs> you put the receptionist on the other end, must be used to it, the phone ringing. There's someone laughing. Yeah, I'll put you through. <laughs> He probably just answers the phone with the words, yes, that is my name. <laughs> Let's clear the air on that. <laughs> That's how that picture came about. Someone lit a match just after <laughs> <laughs> Moving on.